Hey guys, it's JP, California, coming at you guys from a bright, sunny day in Southern California. But the sun isn't just shining on Southern California, it is definitely sh shining, oh my goodness, I can't even start this. It is definitely shining on Aston Villa. That is 12 home matches in a row for the win against their win against Luton today. December 28th, 29th, 29th, I believe. Let's get at it. Before we do, let's like and subscribe, press all the buttons, tell all the Man United fans they are absolute shit. They're shit. Can't wait for Villa to play Man U at home. But here at the North End YouTube channel, we want to give you guys the best content. So here we go. We are doing a good, bad, and ugly on Aston Villa versus Luton. Poor, poor, poor Luton. Let's get into it. Number one, the good record signing for Aston Villa. Musa Diaby costs him anywhere between 45 and 55 million pounds in the summer. And he is playing well. And he's playing well in most games, but he played very well today. Everyone's saying it was an own goal for a second one. I'm giving it to him. He hit it off the guy on the line. It's his goal. He got two goals today and played well. He had a who scored rating of 7.7, .7, which is a very, very positive uh, who scored record for me. I always like my players above the 7.0 rating. He had two goals. He had 33 touches. And he was just always in the right spot at the right time. He was making good runs, checking runs. He made good away runs. Um, the second goal that came from him was literally him checking, bringing a guy with him, and then turning and smoking him on pace. And I believe it was Bubakar Kamara who just pinged the ball over. And it was just him and the keeper. And he just was able to get free. Sorry, my dogs are in the background doing their normal dogly thing, walking around. Um, he's just playing well. He is seemingly integrated into the Aston Villa team with no problems whatsoever. He started almost every game so far. I think there's only maybe one or two games where he did not start. Um, but for 45, 55 million pounds, he must have five goals already in 10 games. That's one and two. That 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 is what you should be paying for. You should be paying for those replies. And he's playing well. Like he's not, he's not dropping below who scored ratings of 6.8 which is really good, and we need him to continue to do so. I would like to see a little bit commun more communication between him and Ollie Watkins in the games, um, but, like, that's just me being picky. So, you know, the Aston Villa good besides the 3-1 win is going to be Musa Diaby. Number two, the bad, it's going to be wasteful. Wasteful. And it's not Aston Villa as a whole. It's Nicholas Zaniolo. Our loan signing from Galatasaray, who used to be at Roma, who used to be at Inter Milan, the future of Italian football. Um, well, once upon a time, they called him that. He was a little wasteful today. He had a who score rating of 6.46. He had six shots, um, and somehow he missed two easy ones that he had to finish. He had 28 touches. In 45 minutes, but he was subbed at halftime. Um, he just gives the appearance of a player trying to do too much. Like, he really does believe this is his only shot to do well for another top team. He, he literally clearly looks like he doesn't think he's ever going to get another top team again. So he is trying his hardest. And sometimes when you try your hardest... Things don't work out because you are overthinking it. And it's giving that vibe to Nicholas Zaniolo. Pardon my drink. It's a little warm, so my throat gets pretty dry. Um, Nicholas Zaniolo is clearly trying too much. And he's passing the eye test for his decisions, but sometimes he just lingers. And it's not like other players when you look at him and you're like, man, you're shit. He's really good. He's six foot four. He has a huge frame to it. He has a cannon of a shot. He just clearly 
is trying too hard. And I feel like once he gets that first goal or that really first great assist, he's going to be fa fantastic for Aston Villa. He's just wasteful right now. So I'm happy with him, but it didn't show good. He might've been subbed at halftime because he had traveled back to Italy in the midweek after his game in the Netherlands. Um, and that's a lot of extra traveling. But I also think it could definitely be him being wasteful in front of goal. Six shots. Two of them should have been goals and he couldn't convert either of them. Just kind of like, why can't you finish? You know? And the ugly and the good, the bad and the ugly is going to be... Oh man, I hate to say it because I like him so much. It's going to be Luton. As my dog walks in the picture. I'm not pointing that champion back there with the head cone on because he itches. He bites and chews his his uh, rear end quite a bit. It's going to be Luton. Luton Town is, well, they're just a Cinderella story that can't make it at the final hurdle. They're a team that so many people wanted to see because they just wanted to see their stadium in the grounds, uh, a stadium that couldn't be ready in time. Um, but they were not good. Aston Villa had 71% percent possession, which leaves Luton at only 29. Aston Villa had a 90% pass accuracy, and Luton had 77. They only had seven shots on target, and their goal came from a misplaced header from Ezri Konza back towards his keeper that hit off the crossbar, then hit Un, uh, Emmy Martinez in the back. And went in. So their goal, which they apparently they celebrated like they just won the Champions League. Their goal was a fluke. A super fluke. They're just happy to be there as a fan base. And man, I am super happy for their fan base. But their team is not good. They are not good. I thought Burnley was pretty bad actually when Villa played Burnley. Um, I thought they were really bad. And I thought Everton were really really torrid um but Luton's the worst team in the Premier League they have to be I mean I know Bournemouth are not getting any points I know there's a few teams down there Sheffield who are not getting any points um I just I don't think any team's worse than Luton and they are ugly to watch play I mean, they pass out of bounds like three times. Just acts bad passes. So, I feel for them. I really do. I feel for their fans a little bit, but I also know, I think their fans know the Premier League is too much for them. And they should have really been in the championship this year. So, they're just taking with what they got and just taking it on the chin and, you know, happy to be there and riding it for a party. Um, but Luton were bad. Luton were pretty ugly. So, guys, there's my good, bad, and ugly the good is Musa Diaby, that record signing for Aston Villa. The bad is Nicolo Zaniolo, who was just wasteful today. And the ugly is Luton, your football team. They're not ugly people. They're probably great people, but they are shit soccer players for the EPL. Sorry, football players. Um... This is JP California. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. I did a much calmer response to this one. Maybe it's just because I'm kind of gleeful at the results today. It was a good weekend for Aston Villa. Um, but it's JP California signing out. This is the North End. This is the North End.